Oh, all right. You remember the amazing new feature that Copilot, what you could use Copilot to like automatically create a Power BI report of a data set you didn't even know? Like, well, that amazing experience is now available inside desktop. I can't wait to show it to you. is great all right before we head over to my desktop if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that that subscribe button so you you, you know you stay informed as to when we got updates heck turn on the alarm bell turn on notifications so you know every time i post a video if you find this useful hit that like button honestly it really helps me out when you guys do that so please help help me out here all right let's head over to it okay so New feature in, in the April version of Power BI Desktop is this Copilot experience. If you don't know if you're on the, the April version, go over to Help and About, and you'll see right here in, in the window that pops up what version of Power BI you're on. You need to be on the April 2024 or newer for this to work, so you can go ahead and close out of that. Now, when I went in, this is a preview feature, so I hopped right over to Options and Settings, options oh i should well options things options and then i went down to a preview features right here that guy yeah preview features and then way down at the bottom there's uh copilot oh there's copilot chat pane and report view right here at the bottom make sure that this is checked out then click ok this was already checked for me when I installed 28th the April version of Power BI Desktop. So, like, be aware that this might be, like, already a thing. So, if that's already checked, uh, leave a comment down below. I want to know if this is actually something that's installed by default. Okay. Now, I've been playing around with this for a little bit. Big tip here. Make sure you've selected a model ahead of time before you kick off the Copilot. Okay? So, I'm going to say... Dunder Mifflin data set right here. I'm going to say go ahead, connect to this. Once I've connected, I'm then going to click on my co pilot button right here. Okay. Now, right now, you'll see that there's two buttons that are available for me. Right. So we have two options here. We can suggest, we can suggest content for the report or we can create a page that shows blank, right? Well, basically what this is gonna do is the first one's gonna give us some prompts, help us craft some prompts for the data that's inside of our report. So I'm gonna click on that. And then it's gonna give me some items that it, it thought of, all right? So first one is uh, customer geographic analysis, create a page to analyze the geographic distribution customers. Um, then it's got one on employee performance metrics, products, and suppliers. Inside each one, there's two prompts. This guy right here, the first one, create. This will create your Power BI report like right away with this prompt, right? It'll just take this prompt, say, hey, Copilot, make a report based on this, and it'll go do its thing. This prompt, on the other hand, is going to take this message, this prompt, it's going to drop it down here into the um, uh, into the prompt guide and ask you so you or so that you can go in and make some changes. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the, the, the pencil so you can see what that experience is like. If I hit enter here now, that's kind of the same thing as the create experience. Now it's work. Oh, oh, yeah. You saw how quick that was. Hey, I'm in the way. Boom, there it is. Holy cow. Collapse. I mean, let's look at this. All right. Geographic distribution, counter customer code, country code, counter regions. I mean, this is kind of cool, kind of useful. I don't know. Um, maybe uh, back over. Maybe I want to go back over and um, uh, I'm not super happy with this. L let me take a look at the employee performance. So I'm going to click on that guy. I'm going to say create it. I'm just going to jump right straight into it. I don't want to wait for, for this stuff. Let's see what happens. So it's going to start working, and then it's going to build the report. To build the report. I mean, the first time it happened so quickly, I was kind of expecting the same thing. 
All right. So sometimes faster than others. <laughs> no more edits. No, ain't nobody got time for that stuff. All right. So you can see that it keeps running. Now, remember, oh, here we go. That's not so bad, right? Let's see. Let's zoom in. I mean, it's got the number of orders. Okay. Freight amount. Interesting. Employee status IDs. Count and fire date. All right. That's employee performance indicators. All right. Number of orders. Order date. Freight amount. Uh, some of this stuff is true to freight amount. Number of orders. Okay. Some of this stuff is more relevant than others. Others are not. So, I mean, not terrible. I mean, okay. It's a, like a, a nice jumping off spot. Um, we'll see what, you know, how this goes. I mean, I just clicked on the, uh, uh, the supplier performance metrics page and like, look at the report that it just automatically created for me while I was talking with it. Right. Again, you know, some of this stuff is more relevant than others, but you know, it's honestly, it's a kind of a good first run at it. In fact, even like falls out, like, look at this. Now I can clearly see that there's no join between this, this dimension and this 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 measure here right so it's probably not a great visual for it but at least for me as an analyst to get up and running i've got these things at my fingertips so i can get started with it. all right so that's the new feature copilot inside of power bi desktop what you had inside of the, the the browser and the web is now available inside the desktop what do you think leave a comment down below let me know your thoughts uh, honestly, I've had hit or miss luck with this so far. Sometimes it runs, sometimes it doesn't. Um, again, it's day one of this preview feature. So, like, my bar is very low for it to get over for this to be useful. But even at, as is, I think it adds value in helping us quickly go in and analyze data. Right? Like, I don't know the data set that I'm working with. This is very useful. Now, if you know the data that you're working with, you know, Jumping in and I mean Power BI and semantic models are just so good together to build stuff. You're not going to beat that, you know, when you know the model. But this might be a real good place for you to get started with this. Um, you guys have a great day. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.